It's 2016, it's a new year. And we're facing a task unfinished. Facing a task unfinished. Uh, we're here in our offices in Nashville, Tennessee. You can see down the corridor. You can see our hymn book collection, um, part of it given to us by Chip Stam, who was the great nephew of John and Betty Stam, a couple who famously went to China in the 1920s with an organisation called the China Inland Mission. One of the past directors of the China Inland Mission, now OMF, was a guy called Frank Houghton, um, a famous hymn writer as well. And we love his hymns and Facing a Task Unfinished is one of his. Frank Houghton understood the power of a hymn to galvanise a community, a church, even in the most difficult circumstances. And it was around the 1930s that they first used the song Facing a Task Unfinished. At that time, most uh, Christians had been forced out of the country. There had been severe persecution. And OMF, China Inland Mission, had a special conference, a prayer conference, in which they used the song for the first time and they issued a call for at least 200 missionaries to leave their homes and to head to China with the good news of the gospel. The story of evangelism in China, of course, is a wonderful one. Back in the time of Houghton's hymn, there were less than three quarters of a million registered Christians in China. Today, the number is 80 million, and some estimate up to 132 million Christians in China today. I grew up singing this hymn as a young guy and at university, and I think it's no coincidence that at the times in my life I was most excited about sharing my faith, most committed to mission, I was singing hymns like this, because what we sing affects how we think, speak, pray and ultimately the choices that we make. Last year um, Keith and I were approached by OMF um, to look at this hymn, Facing a Task Unfinished, and to rewrite it, refresh it, rearrange it. We are so excited about sharing this song, Facing a Task Unfinished, to put in the hearts and voices and minds of churches around the world the excitement of the Great Commission, to build confidence in the gospel and urgency in the increasingly secular age that both China and we now live in but also to raise the awareness of OMF. Every royalty from this song goes to work of OMF. Maybe you'd like to join us in singing this song on a very special day we've set aside, February 21st, a global sing That's of right. this hymn. Um, there's thousands of churches that are involved in this and mission organisations that span the six continents. And if you'd like to join us in that and become involved and sing it too, you can go to our website, gettingmusic.com, and find more information there. We go to all